The prostate cancer treatment is uh, very different in uh, early stage and late stage. Uh, if you have an early prostate cancer, you also have to look at the Gleason score. You, you need to know if this prostate cancer is an aggressive one or non-aggressive one. It's, the prostate cancer is very common, but if you have a non-aggressive one, you may not need any treatment. There are a, a, a range of treatment from doing nothing to have a surgery. So if it's a non-aggressive prostate cancer, then you should not have a very aggressive treatment. In the same time, if you have an aggressive uh, prostate cancer, then you need an aggressive treatment like surgery, radiation. Uh, in a late stage prostate cancer, that means you have a prostate cancer that spread to the lymph node or other organs in your body, that means we cannot cure it. But we still have a medication that could prolong the patient's life and suppress the cancer control it. And in some good cases, we could control it for over 10 years. And these medications are the medication that would suppress the male sex hormone production. And it, will, it, will, uh, could, it could last for many, many years. In the patient who have early stage prostate cancer, and we know that it's a low-grade cancer, it's non-aggressive cancer, and the amount of cancer is not much. Uh, especially in a young patient, we may choose to do active surveillance which actually uh, doesn't mean we do nothing. We would need to follow the patient with the PSA, we need to do ultrasound, we may have to repeat the biopsy uh, to see if the cancer has progressed or it has turned into an active, uh, aggressive cancer. And once we know that the cancer has progressed or it's turned out to be more aggressive, then that's the time that we need to do the treatment. The problem is it's fairly difficult for the patients to have cancer and we, we tell them to do nothing. So we found that around 30% of patients will stop the active surveillance after three to six months.